What's up guys, there is a brand new Predator movie that's not called Predator, and let's review it. Prey stars Amber Midthunder, Dane DeLigro, Dakota Beavers, and is directed by Dan Trachtenberg. Guys, this movie is really, really awesome. I usually don't start out a review like that, but <laughs> this movie is freaking awesome, okay? That, that, you could probably leave right now, okay? Or if you, if you want to stick around, I'll tell you why it's freaking awesome. There's usually one or two movies that you walk out of and you're just so surprised and you're just um, elated and you never expected the movie to... Because I went into this movie with 0.0.0. .0. Can you do that? Expectations. Just because of the, the troubled track history of the Predator franchise. And this wasn't coming to theaters. This is a movie that came to Hulu, which is a, not a good sign. Uh, and I say, after I watched this, I wish I could have seen this in the theaters. I know they had a small showing, I think, in LA and New York or something like that, but I would have loved to have seen this in theaters. Can they please put this in theaters? People need to see this in theaters because of how badass it is. Whatever did this? So anyway, let's give you a quick plot synopsis. This will be spoiler free on Prey, which I think is a good idea that they called it Prey instead of Predator. Because, and I think I know why they did that, just because of the, the franchise is just screwed at this point. The last movie sucked balls, okay? It, it really did. It started off kind of strong for like the first 10 minutes, and then it sucked balls. That's what happened. Sucked balls. So... A uh, quick plot synopsis, this, think of like Apocalypto, you know, you have this Indian tribe, I think it takes place a few hundred years before the first movie, which is a great freaking idea, I mean, that expands the world up and the possibilities now are endless, endless. You know, they focus in on this tribe and their, you know, their um, inner workings, I guess. You know, they do their day-to-day, -day. they hunt, they're hunters, which is cool, you have a hunter going against hunters. Within the tribe, there is this character named Naru by Amber Midthunder. And she, you know, she wants to be a warrior. She wants to jump in with her brethren and she wants to hunt. She wants to fight and she does have some skills. And so, of course, the predator shows up and she knows that it's there. She sees it and nobody believes her. Everybody thinks that she's ridiculous, which I mean, you're talking about an alien creature coming to uh, Earth. She wants to save her tribe and she, you know, because she knows this thing is really, really deadly. And so that's basically the plot. And that's why I love this movie, because this is what you should do with a Predator movie. It should be nice and simple. It should be just hunting, doing what Predators do best. And that's what this movie does. Uh, it doesn't get too crazy with the characters. I like this Indian tribe. And there's a nice little bond between Nehru and her brother. But... I'm gonna go ahead and start with Naru because in this day and age, I get so sick of the freaking W word. Oh, let's just put it this way. It drives me nuts that before a movie can even come out, there will be channels that will put 15 videos out completely shitting all over that movie without seeing it. Movie, TV show, whatever. I come from the, the thinking that maybe give it a chance before you completely shit on Because already I saw that there was like a, a video and it said woke and they didn't even see the movie. That drives me freaking insane. You might like that, you might jump on that bandwagon, and that's what it is, people. It's a freaking bandwagon. You don't have to jump on it. You can think for yourself. What am I doing? Where am I going? <laughs> so my thinking is when I go into any movie, it's either shit or it's not shit. I don't, I, and everything else around that might have caused it to be shit, but at the end of the day, it's still shit, okay? So, I'm gonna give it a fair shake. And this movie is definitely not shit. Uh, they do such a great job with building this character. Having her fall constantly throughout the movie. Having her be not taken seriously by her tribe. And you know, she fails. And she has to figure out a way to uh, rise above it. And, and this is, you know, this is life-threatening. And so the showdown between Naru and the Predator in this movie is the best since the first movie. It is so freaking good, all right? But more importantly, they build that story up 
uh, and they and they build this character up s- with such you know strength and detail that by the time she's fighting that predator, you're right there with her and, and you believe in her. You know, I mean, this is like this is like a Rocky story. That's that's you know, it's a it's a coming of age type story, and it works so well. Also, why this movie's freaking awesome is because the predator. I love the look of this new predator, and the predator would look different, you know, uh, two three hundred years before the events of the first movie. I mean, who knows how long the Predators have been around? And so there's just so many different variations, but I love the look at this one. He is like, he's like the ultimate warrior. And there's a scene with a bear in this movie that just blew my socks off. I was, I, I'd, I'd never seen anything like that in a Predator movie before. Um, and I, really just talking about bears and, and, you know, just animals, you really get an idea of what the purpose of the predator is when he gets to his planet. You know, he's not just looking for people. He's looking for any kind of um, animal, any kind of challenge to hunt. There's a few instances where he's kind of going up the evolutionary ladder, uh, you know, from a hunter's standpoint. Dan Trachtenberg, man, the guy did such a great job of just fleshing out uh, this story and keeping you interested the, the whole way. And it's a nice surprise. At the end of the day, this is just such a nice surprise. The Predator franchise, it's back on track, guys. It, it, like, I'll be shocked if people don't like this movie. I, it, I'm putting that freaking stamp of approval on this. I will be shocked if you don't like this movie, okay? The, if you don't like this movie, then you just don't like Predator movies, I guess. That's, that's all I can say. And I love The Predator when it's done right. And it hasn't been always done right. Predator 2 is it's good. I like Predator 2. Uh, Predators, it's okay. Nothing special. Um, But man, this is to me the best movie since the first. It didn't go to theaters. That's crazy to me. That's freaking crazy. So guys, um, there's nothing bad about this movie. Um, If I, I mean, if I had to hone in on anything that was bad, I would say it doesn't have a strong start. Uh, Right at the beginning, you're kind of like, this could go in a negative direction, but almost immediately, you know, it, it just starts going down the right path and it just works. Unlike the last movie that started amazingly and started great and you had great characters and then like the first quarter, it just takes a strong nosedive for the rest of the movie. This one just has like a constant escalation. It, that's what it has. It's amazing. Trapped on a freaking island. That's what this movie is, okay? Happy to say that. So, anyway, let me know what you guys thought of Prey when you see it this Friday. Looking forward to hearing it. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flex where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do free for Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dumbs on my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. And Drum Dumb out.